Hello crafty friends, the Scrap and Craft Queen. I wanted to come by to share this little project with you that you can do for yourself and give them as a happy meal or you can have your grandkids do them. I mean, it's such a fun project and, and so let's get started. I wanted to show you these cute little guys. So I made these cute little guys and they're little pom-pom Valentine's Day little little guys here. You see them? I'm sorry, the glare in my room, I try to fix it, but it's not cooperating with me. But I hope you can see them. They're super, super cute and super easy to make. I put them on white because um, I ordered this mat from my desk. And this pink mat kind of glares a little bit more. So I put a piece of white paper to see if you guys can see them better. But super super cute little pom-pom guys oh my god they're so cute so i wanted to make them with you so that you can make some and share them with your your um your pals out there your crafty friends so basically all you need to do is you take your yarn and you just pull out some yarn i don't know how much i didn't measure i just took it and I did this I just put it over my three fingers and I just kept rolling until I got a good thickness you know and I just kept going maybe I don't know maybe three four yards not sure it's hard to measure it because you don't know how much you will need you know to make it thick enough and so yeah so I took about that much and then I cut it Cut it over here okay cut it there and then I took another piece of yarn and I cut it there okay and what I did was I just shoved it through my fingers I just opened my fingers as wide as I can pulled it out from this side okay so I can tie it without it falling apart on me okay and then what I did was I brought it over and I kind of curled it with this one. I mean, you can do it either way. You can use a pom-pom maker. I do have one, but I didn't want to pull it out. I don't, I have it stored away. And so I just did it this way. So then all you do is you cut. Okay, make sure it doesn't come out of your fingers and that this center one is down here in the center. Because you're going to cut here and you're going to cut the bottom. Make sure they're even too. Okay, very simple process. Okay, then just put them together and then take them, put them down, and then take your tie. Take your little tie. If some come out, doesn't matter. Where did my tie go now? God, I did this such perfectly. I couldn't believe how easy it came out. Now that I'm on camera, it wants to be difficult. Here it is. Okay. So basically you tie it. Okay, really, really tight. And then just make another tie to make your little pom-pom. Okay. And then um, all you got to do is just fluff it out. Fluff it out really good so that all the string gets all together with the other strings and then basically you're just gonna trim all that along pom-pom parts okay you just you just keep trimming until your desire of size okay you guys so basically you're just gonna keep going like this fluff it out make it into a ball so the hair can connect you know open up a little bit for you so then all I did was I just trimmed around, trimmed everything that was sticking out, and you could trim it to your heart desires. Um, if you want, you know, if you want to make it bigger, you can. It's really easy. And so all I did was I took the bottom piece, I held on to a bottom part of it so that I can fluff it out this way, okay? And then all I did was cut around to make it a little ball, pom-pom ball. 
And you can use already made pom-poms too. But I thought it was just the cutest thing to make. I think my grandson would love to make these just because, you know, he's little. He's only four and he would love all the cutting and the pom-pom the making. And, and so, yeah, my granddaughter, she just turned two in December and sh she would probably love this but I wouldn't trust her with scissors right now not with these pointy ones anyways but she would love it once the pom-poms made she likes to color and and glue stuff so yeah this will be cute okay so it's coming along okay so basically this is all you do okay you got your pom-pom just you know get it get it going then once you have it really good, okay, you got your pom-pom all set and all done, nice and round, okay? Mine's not perfect right now, but the other one was because I took my time. I didn't want to make them and uh, have them ready because I did want to show you guys, you know, I know everybody's got to know how to make a pom-pom, right? But still, part of the, the tutorial. So then you're going to need a pipe cleaner, and I bought these at Dollar Tree, and all you do is you bend it in half, and you cut it in half, okay? So then all I did was, I took it and I stretched it out, and then I bend kind of the middle a little bit, and I started turning lightly, okay, not too much, and then I just kept coming into the center and pulling out. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, or pull it down, pull them in, whichever way you have to do to make just a little heart. And then you just turn your pipe cleaner here a couple of times so it won't come loose. And there you go. There's your little antenna heart. You can shape it, you know. And then all you do is cut the bottom. And you want to leave a little piece out so that you can put into your pom pom. Okay? So then. Again, and take your pipe cleaner, you're gonna bend it in the center, bring it around, bring it around, and then as you go making the size that you you want, okay, see these are gonna be the same size, okay? So you wanna measure, you take your pipe cleaner and you turn. Just a few times, and then you cut off the excess part now don't cut them too short because you want them to stick out of your pom-pom a little bit, okay? So then, there you go. You got your ears. Now you're going to need, which I should have said at the beginning of the video, you're going to need two little googly eyes and a piece of felt for the feet, okay? And so all you do is you take your pom-pom and you open it up slightly and you hot glue put a little bit of hot glue just a little dot there and you stick your antenna in and you just close your pom-pom a little bit now you want to put it kind of sideways a little bit because it's an antenna so you want it to look kind of sideways there if your thread is too big there just cut it down a little bit before you put your ear your antenna ears okay and you just stick it in there Oh, these are super, super cute to do, easy to do, fast. Okay. All right. So there you go. And then what you do is just cut around whatever little hairs, you know, are sticking out. Like I said, my first one came out perfect, of course. <laughs> and so, yeah. So just shape your pom-pom. Okay. There we go. All right. So you got your ears in, the little hairs out there of the pipe cleaner. Okay, so there you go. Now you got your ears in. Now all you do is you take your little eyes, your googly eyes, and you just want to put just a little dab of glue, okay? And you're just going to drop it there. You don't even have to press down. Just put it there for now. Okay, then you want to put that one there, and there you go. Now, now you press down a little bit. 
and cut that hair out make it look cuter okay so there's your eyes then you're gonna take the felt and you're gonna bend it in half and you're gonna cut a heart okay so you're gonna go up around and down okay so these are your little feet okay so now you're gonna take some hot glue and you're going to put hot glue here in the back of your legs or your feet sorry and you're gonna sit that down and all you're gonna do is sit your pom-pom on it and there you go <laughs> quick and easy 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 step okay very very simple very easy I just love it I thought it was the cutest little thing to make look at that just super super cute little pom-poms you can make different color antennas different color pom-poms you can make red ones any color you want um, actually and so I just want to share this quick tutorial with you and I hope you make some if you do make some um, make sure you tag me so that I can see what you did okay I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you make some thank you so much Bye-bye.